Welcome to a sunny and warm Knock Hill racing circuit for the Scottish BMW Compact Cup. I'm here with current BMW Compact Cup champion Stephen Daly. Stephen, you've been busy down south racing in the national BMWs. You've been doing a little bit of Janetta racing as well. What brings you back here? Uh, just uh, we've seen that it was a Super Tour weekend, and we thought we would come up and have a have a little play. Unfortunately, our first race in the BMWs didn't go to plan. Our car's not functional for this race, so we're not going to be out uh, racing the Janetta after lunchtime today. So. You know, I'm really looking forward to that. We finished second yesterday, which is my first time in the car. was on Friday, so I mean, we're, we're pretty happy with that. There's a lot of fast cars out there as well. Um, you always get kind of itchy feet at this point when everybody's lined up and ready to go. Obviously, you're still current champion. You must be dying to get out there and race these cars again. I mean, as I mean, we're racing down south, so I mean, I'm racing next weekend at Alton Park. So you know, I'm not too worried about racing in this race. It wasn't my car anyway, so. Um, you know, I'm just looking forward to next weekend now. I'm especially looking forward to this Janetta later on. Um, we'll just see how we get on. But I'm not, I mean, we've got lots of cars here. Kesey Moore's, Kesey Moore's well, done a fantastic job. So um, just looking after all these guys, making sure the guys are on the pace and just taking it from there. Well done, good luck with the Janetta later. Thanks, Joe. Ta now it's race day, but unusually at this meeting we had a race yesterday. That race was won by Gary Clark, who we have on pole position. Lee Elric was second, Callum King was third. Now I'm going to speak to the man because we've got a little bit more time. So I'm going to speak to the man who leads the championship. He's been in a, a dominant position so far. Pole position, race win yesterday, pole position again. Gary, it's all coming together nicely. Aye, it really is. Just need to hope we can get it off the line a bit better. Got a good start initially in the the first uh, race start yesterday, and then it was red flagged. So with a restart, and I fell back to third, and had to fight my way back up to first. So fingers crossed today we get it off the line a bit better. At the previous meeting, you had a little hiccup with the start as well. It seems to be, if any weak point, that seems to be it. Aye, yeah, a bit of work needed in the starts maybe, but I hear so it's dry day, so there should be plenty of grip, and we should get it off the line, no problem. Good luck. Thank you. We'll move one back. I'm going to speak to Callum King. Callum, a regular in this championship last year, but he's been away down south competing in the National Mini Championship. However, he's back for one-off because he told me he wants some extra seat time out on track, but it's been going pretty well so far. I don't know if you expected it. Obviously, racing down south's really brought you on, and you're right at the sharp end now. Yeah, it's, it's good to come back to your home track and uh, test and uh, on free practice one and yesterday went really well so we knew the car had the pace just a case of stringing it together and it's worked for us and race one couldn't have gone any better so forward from here it's even more impressive when you consider that the mini's front wheel drive yeah testing took a bit of time getting used to rear wheel drive to lift off instead of keeping the foot in but you know it's you never forget to ride a bike same with these Gary's leading the championship, he's on the verge of clinching the championship, potentially. Um, from your point of view, are you going to get stuck in and give him a hard time, or are you going to try to respect the championship, or are you here to win races? You know what, I'm, I'm here to enjoy myself. I'm not part of the championship. I'm going to actually try and help Gary if I can, because I know Gary quite well, and I want him to... He's worked hard for it, so I want him to do it. Good luck. Thank you. Let's do one more. I want to speak to Neil because he's always got something to say and he's always quite amusing. I'm going to come around this side first of all and open the door for the cameraman. There we go. And if I swing around, we'll get a really quick word with Neil. Neil McInnes. Neil, first year of racing, you're already my favourite racing driver out there. Um, third place on the grid. Every time you finish on the podium, you tell me it's a fluke. But it's not a fluke. You're a consistent front runner. Mm. Yesterday was a fluke, Joe. Come on. Um, they were having a ding dong, and I just I was in fifth, quite happy. Managed to get up to third. So, all good. I'm glad you still think I'm your favourite as well. It's by far. It means the world to me, Joe, you know? <laughs> We're going to see an overall win. I'm predicting one this year. Before the season's finished, you've got to take an overall win. I would like to think you can, but the guys at the front are just on a different level. And as you know already, mine are all luck. So what chance have I got, Joe? That luck yeah. will run out at some point. Yeah, pretty much. You see me in eighth and being happy about it, and then you know something's wrong. But nah, listen, I'm just hoping I can keep up with Callum. I think Gary will get a good start, and I think Lee will get by us because he's pretty quick. The so, next ten minutes will tell us. Good luck. Yes, thank you, Joe. I'll see you later, mate. And with that, I wish Neil and everybody else good luck. I'll hand it to Richard for the first BMW race. Thanks very much, Joe. This is uh, round 14 of the championship. Gary Clark on front row from Callum King, then Neil McInnes and Steve Daly. Row three, Lee Elric and David McNaughton from Cliff Harper and Ashley Morris, then Stephen King and Richard Sutherland. Ray McDowell, 11th from Stephen Goldie, then Liam Grant and Martin Buck and Robert Marshall, Rory Clark, Jeff Clark and John Robertson, Gordon McShannock and David Downey. Andrew Mackey, Ross Johnston, Douglas Simpson and Philip Webster, the four 
drivers who didn't start or didn't take the restart of the first race and we're missing I think from this one Stephen Daly and also Andrew Mackey but the rest of them there the lights are on out go the lights Gary Clark started well seemed to falter a little bit I'm not sure whether Callum King will get the run on him down the hill King in the yellow car but it looks like Clark's done well King's going to go for the swoop round the outside and he's got his nose in front so that was a good start Neil McInnes back in third place looks like everybody underway this is always a nerve-wracking moment if you see a car going sideways down Duffers across the traffic and sometimes on the grass but thankfully everybody has made it through safe and sound and it's Callum King the guest driver who is leading them through so Callum King is uh, the race leaders who pick up on Gordon McShannock in 55 Gordon left us at the last meeting he's one of the newcomers this year left us with his last his best result in the last race best result of the season 14th place in round 12 which was the second race on the 21st of August so he's looking to improve certainly his results are getting better and better as the season goes on David McNaughton in fourth place McNaughton is also in fourth position in the championship Neil McInnes fifth in the, in the standings behind him and a challenge for the lead Callum King comes under pressure from Gary Clark the championship leader now Clark doesn't have to go past into the lead but does so going into Duffus he could sit behind Callum King and just collect the points because King is a guest driver doesn't score any points but of course Gary Clark this, that's the mark of a champion wants to go through wants to win the race if he wins the race and takes five points away from Cliff Harper then he will be champion in this race so that's the potted summary at the moment. Cliff Harper is more than five points potentially adrift of the race and indeed championship leader Gary Clark. Clark from Macduff is uh, heading down in towards the hairpin with Callum King in hot pursuit. Then Neil McInnes in third place. Fourth is David McNaughton. Then we've got Lee Elric in the black and green car looking at the inside of David McNaughton at the moment. Elric is third in the championship on 456 points. And uh, Clark needs to outscore Elric by seven in this one because it's not just about outscoring Cliff Harper. Of course, he's got to outscore the other drivers that are within within shouting distance of him but essentially what we're looking for is the 80 point uh, gap at the end of this race and because there are only 40 points available nobody else can beat Gary Clark on race wins it's Clark out front Callum King in second position the guest driver as you heard been running with the mini championship wonder if he could be tempted to race in the Scottish Mini Cooper Cup I think some of the drivers like to spread their wings and race on different circuits rather than necessarily having uh, basing their racing at, at, at one track and that may be why we lose a few drivers potentially off uh, formally here but uh, absolutely no question about the standard of racing that we see week in week out here up at Knockhill. here's the view from Lee Elric so Elric third in the standings he will probably pass Cliff Harper here Elric was in fifth position in yesterday's race and as you can see it's a battle now Callum King is coming under big pressure at the moment from Neil McInnes out front McInnes running in the newcomers championship so uh, if you're a newcomer and looking to come into BMW racing there is uh, an overall championship which you can win but also the opportunity to race for the uh, newcomers championship for first year drivers and McInnes runs a little bit wide now we're going to see Lee Elric make the move he's on the outside line coming down into the hairpin Callum King still there in second place Gary Clark starting to get away and McInnes holds on to third position second position points at the moment for McInnes I mentioned 40 for a win 37 for second place and then 35 for third 32 for fourth 30 and then a point uh, for each po each place subsequent to that Gary Clark though is away and down the road got fastest lap yesterday set pole position qualifying time at the start of this meeting as well just two rounds to go it'll be interesting to see whether Gary Clark comes out to play if he does secure the championship 
in this race but good race here by McInnes and Elric dicing over the second place points but third place on track behind Callum King then we've got David McNaughton there is Cliff Harper Cliff currently second in the championship if things stay the way they are at the moment he'll lose second place in the championship to Lee Elric by a couple of points and that issue still to be settled to see who's going to be runner-up last year of course it was Steve Daly from Gary Clark the runner-up with Cliff Harper in third Gary Clark also winning last year's newcomers trophy and prior to that Alan Kakodi double champion Kakodi racing in the Scottish Formula Ford championship as a guest driver this weekend Gary Clark though up and away in lead position Callum King still in second third place as you can see is a big issue at the moment between McInnes and Elric and McInnes has got a podium what a modest man he is in those interviews and he's, he's almost embarrassed about Joe saying that uh, you have to be pretty good to get a podium you do have to be a good driver to hold on to get a podium uh, make no mistake about that Neil McInnes has delivered the, he's a Glaswegian and his results again have, have got stronger and stronger as the season's got on another of the newcomers coming under pressure from Lee Elric still for second place but it's Gary Clark comfortably in front in red he goes out of shot Callum King in second and this great battle between McInnes and Elric which I've got a feeling is going to go to the flag so more from round 14 for you after the break Welcome back to Knock Hill the Scottish BMW Championship here round 14 well underway Gary Clark out front in red Callum King is second in the gold livery they're catching up with Rory Clark so there is Gary Clark going out of shot with Callum King then Lee Elric and Neil McInnes having a good battle it's McInnes on top at the moment in third place and coming down towards us we've got the 32 car of Liam Grant 84 is Robert Marshall being challenged by Douglas Simpson Simpson's come up from the back one of the non-finishers yesterday and Simpson looks down the inside uh, and goes through and past Robert Marshall very good manoeuvre into Scotsman or coming out of Scotsman we should say retains that lead going through the chicane there's Ray McDowell in number four meanwhile back towards the front runners Ashley Morris going through in 77 Stephen Goldie is in the mix as well and these boys have got a little bit of a mission to try and catch up with Liam Grant now who's in front so Liam the first of the blue cars coming through in 32 then Douglas Simpson in 81 and Robert Marshall in 84 Robert uh, is uh, of course a newcomer Liam Grant newcomer as well Douglas Simpson in the newcomers category as well a little bit of a is that lock-up smoke there we've got some detritus on circuit and Martin Bucken, oh in fact coming into pit lane so Martin Bucken into pit lane comes up the hill and as you can see missing a bit of bodywork not sure whose bodywork that was on track but certainly uh, Martin in need of some Martin's car in need of some some TLC Rory Clark is going to be I think passed here by the race leader Gary Clark who goes through Callum King still in second place and then third place Neil McInnes from Lee Elric the battle continuing from before the break and the safety car is coming out so we've got Gary Clark will pick up the safety car with Rory Clark behind him who's now a lap down now Rory won't be on I don't think past the safety car he is certainly the meaty in the sandwich this might help Gary Clark on the restart I'm guessing that the safety car is purely to recover the the, uh, the bodywork on track. A fairly big piece of bodywork, so the last thing we want is uh, that getting underneath a car and maybe causing a big problem or, uh, or also maybe flying off into the crowd. You can see the marshals in the background down at the hairpin busy doing some work. So... The safety car is out on circuit. It does give everybody a little bit of a breather from round 14 of the championship. And a reminder that if things stay the way they are, then we will see Gary Clark, the red car who leads the race, crowned as our third Scottish BMW Compact Cup champion. Steve Daly last year. Alan Kakodi, of course, won in 2013-2014. So a third different name to adorn the Scottish BMW Championship. So Callum King in second, McInnes and Elric followed by David McNaughton, Cliff Harper, Ashley Morris 
is there as well in 77. Ashley having a, a very good run once again and well inside the top 10 on merit. Was eighth in yesterday's race, Our Lady Racer. And we'll see whether Ashley can move even further up the order throughout the uh, rest of this, the antepenultimate race of the year. As you can see, we've now got Gary Clark right behind Callum King. So Rory Clark has, has moved moved back and dropped down the order. He's running as a guest driver um, this weekend, so obviously keen not to interfere with any championship positions. But we're ready to go. Scottish BMW Championship Racing once again. Gary Clark has a punctuated run, perhaps, to the title. We'll go up the hill and watch for the green flag which is dropped now out of shot but the safety car boards are withdrawn and Gary Clark I tell you what he's lost a little bit of, of race lead here as through goes Douglas Simpson and Gary Clark was pulling away before the safety car albeit at uh, a modest pace over Callum King in second position so Gary Clark still out front now remember the drivers we've got to look for Lee Elric and also Cliff Harper and at the moment Lee Elric is in the third point scoring position which is 35 points and he needs to pull uh, three points on Lee Elric to win the championship because Lee Elric is 77 behind uh, at the moment that will take him to 80 and at the moment as I say if Lee Elric finishes second the championship could well move on to the last meeting of the season so it's actually quite critical that Elric gets past McInnes here he could still by the look of it, I think he's going to outscore Cliff Harper. So Elric's going to go second in the standings. And Harper is going to drop into third place. So uh, this is all hurried mathematics, I, I have to add. So Callum King chasing Gary Clark. Clark will want to secure the championship with a win. Remember, the car in second place is a guest driver. Not scoring points, but certainly racing for the pride. And putting pressure on the race leader as they go through Scotsman. Here comes Callum King, winding it all up. Trying to reel in the champion-elect. The man who's won the most races this year through the chicane. Spectacular stuff. And Callum King's right on his case. Is he going to have a look at the inside line coming up towards Clark? Clark, maybe a little bit too far back there. Dab on the brake lights for Clark. Look at the back end, wanting to get away. Callum King remembers been racing minis, so real wheel drive, slightly different experience for him coming back to the Scottish BMW Cup. We've still got Neil McInnes running in third place, but second place points. And here comes, here comes King down the inside. Callum King goes for it. And Gary Clark there left the door wide open. He's going back on the inside line. So they're side by side for the lead. This is enthralling stuff. I'm going to uh, wait to hear the interview with Gary Clark. Tempted to say he left the door open. But maybe he knew he was going to get the run up the hill and he gets the lead back. Superb racing. So Clark doesn't need to do this to win the championship. And Callum King's coming down the inside line. And Clark, I think, is keeping a wide berth of him for sure. But now King's back end wants to come around. And Clark had a good run, a better run through Scots, but a wide line in. And I'm just wondering whether Gary Clark's thinking, you know what, I don't really need to get involved too much in this. And the thinking could be that he'll race for the lead if it's safe to do so. Three cars all squabbling over third position on the road and those second place points. And it's McInnes still there at the moment. Remember, Clark needs to pull five points on Cliff Harper and three points on Lee Elric to secure the title. It's Callum King out front the guest driver Gary Clark will have the winner's points here but it's Callum King who goes up the hill in towards the closing stages of this one there's the last lap board going out so Callum King is out front Gary Clark is only 1.2 miles away from taking the 2016 crown he's having a look he's all over the back at the moment of the 45 car he's realistically got no pressure from behind but look at that wide line from Clark going into Scotsman corner this could tee up a run to go for the lead having said that there is pressure now from Neil McInnes who's still there in third place Lee Elric is in fourth it looks like it could be the championship for Clark, but we can't confirm it until he's got across the line because who knows what's going to happen at the hairpin on the last lap. And this is, remember, the last lap, but it's the 45 car, Callum King, the Aberdonian, who's out front, his first BMW racing here in Scotland of the year. He was second in race number one. Here comes Gary Clark. He wants to go through, takes a wide line down to the hairpin, locks up. It's all going to be about the cutback, I think, for Gary Clark, or maybe a run around the outside. No, he can't do that. He is going to 
to be confirmed as champion though because Neil McInnes will pick up the second place point but it's Callum King, Gary Clark, Neil McInnes, Lee Elric, David McNaughton fifth, Ashley Morris is in fifth, a great finish for Ashley, then Cliff Harper, Stephen Goldie next from Douglas Simpson, then Richard Sutherland, Liam Grant and Ray McDowell, here's Robert Marshall, so Robert Marshall goes across the line, Philip Webster takes 14th position, John Robertson is in 15th, then Jeff Clark and Gordon McShannock, David Downey will take 18th place, and then Martin Buchan, Martin Buchan will finish in 19th from, there is Martin, Ross Johnston, Rory Clark uh, will finish in 21st place, not exactly uh, as we saw them in picture but nonetheless that's the rundown of the result now congratulations to Gary Clark who takes the title he's now 82 points clear of Lee Elric Cliff Harper a further four points down in third David McNaughton is fourth in the standings as we look at the overall result Neil McInnes fifth in the standings from Stephen Goldie but congratulations Gary Clark Gary Clark, um, 2016 Scottish BMW Compact Cup champion. In my book, it was always going to happen, but you've done it early. You've done it with a, a whole round to spare. Uh, it's really good to do it with a round to spare. It's uh, just brilliant, to be honest. Uh, a lot of people to thank. Team, Gary, Andy, my dad, Stephen, and brother, Paul. Uh, Mama sponsors, Sidetech Engineering, McDuff Shipyard, Portsoy Ice Cream, uh, Stephen Clark Motorbody Repairs, Addison Graphics, uh, Eddie Greenlaw, Belden and Slater. Just so much for to thank. Not, not only have you been a dominant force in the championship, but what else is nice? In the one make championships, you generally get quite a bit of contact, but your car is still in the showroom <laughs> condition that you rolled it out of the trailer at round one. Uh, it's never had a mark out here, so it's, uh, it's, a, it's a bonus. When you see some of the other rings running about your skin, there's a, there's a lot of battle scars about them, but now our rings been in hell out here, so it's a bonus. Callum was there to support you, he told me, before when I spoke to him before the, the race went on, but he said he saw an opportunity when your tyres went off. You were thinking points, you were thinking championship, um, and he gave you a real good fight there. Uh, he was, his car seemed to come alive at the end. It seems to be the opposite way about a lot of others. They just kind of tend to go off, but Callum seemed to come on form. It's, it's a pity the safety car came out because I had a decent leader for that, but no, nah, it's good. I made up for Callum. W were you cursing him? No, not really. That. Good, good pals with Callum, so it's fine to see him get a win as well. Well done, um, not only on this win, but the whole year. Dominant force in BMWs this season, well done. Thanks very much. Can I just thank Bridge and Garage and Artin? I missed it. They've been a big help this year, too, so thanks. Good job. Thank you. And with that, that brings the racing today to a close from the BMWs, but it's not the end of the season, despite Gary clinching the championship. We've still got another round to go in October, and there's still plenty to fight for, so make sure you tune in next time.